everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Today we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Jeanne Ryder and the Jeanne Trider. Now we've done full reviews on both of these strollers, so if you want to check out the review of the Jeanne Ryder, just click right there. If you want to check out the re full review of the Jeanne Trider, click right there. <laughs> So, but today we're going to go through the differences because maybe you're sitting there going, I totally want a Jeanne stroller, but I don't know which one. Is it, do I pick the Ryder? Do I pick the Trider? Ah! So today we're going to go through all the differences to help you make that choice a little bit easier. Now at first glance, they do seem like very different strollers, but still at the same time, quite the same. So let's start with the seats. The seats are very, very similar, but the Rider, again, this is the Rider over here. This is the Trider. Remember, a Trider has the all-terrain tires and is good for jogging. Now the Rider, it has the removable padded seat insert that the Trider doesn't have. They both have adjustable five-point harnesses, no big deal. They both have the baby bumper bars that are swing away and removable with the removable fabric. The Rider has a little bit longer leg rest by about a half inch, hardly anything. They both are adjustable though. Um, now let's look at the bottoms here. The bottom of the Rider is totally different than the bottom of the Trider. The bottom of the Trider has this white clean place for the child to set their feet. It sticks out a little bit more. The Rider is your typical four wheel stroller. Now, again, that's pretty important. The Rider is a four wheeler and the Trider is a three wheeler. Um, so some people, they prefer one or the other. Now let's talk about these canopies. The canopies, the canopies are very similar. The only difference is, as the Trider has a pop-out sun visor that the Rider does not. I don't know why they didn't put it on there. They definitely should add it, but this one has an extra pop-out sun visor. The Trider also has side peekaboo windows. Neither one has a peekaboo window on top, but the Trider has these two that I guess the child can look out, but they're still shaded. The rider does not. Um, so again, nothing on the canopy of the rider, but you do have those peak of the windows on the trider. They both have deep reclines that are you can do with one hand, and they're pretty much the exact same recline. They both have reversible seats. It's just as easy to do. They both have the parking position for when you're folding it. Um, so let's go down to the wheels and the basket. Now here is one of the main differences of the Rider versus the Trider. The Rider has four wheels, it's a lifestyle stroller, best on smooth surfaces, um, but you could still take it on a little bit of terrain. Uh, the Rider, it's more robust wheels, they're bigger wheels. So in the front, you have three wheels over here. So the three wheel, the, the front wheel is nine and a half inches. The wheels in front over here are six inches. Now the Trider also has a rear wheels that are bigger, and these are 12 and a half inches, and the rear wheels over here are only 10 inches. Um, they're definitely a different material as well. These have more tread, so again, going to be better for sport use on the Trider. Both have removable rear wheels. Both have front swivel wheels that can lock straight. Now the baskets are very similar. They're very narrow. They're not that big. You're not going to fit a big diaper bag in either one. Um, but just know you could pile them up because both seats are a little bit higher than normal strollers. They both also have that included messenger diaper bag. Um, pretty much the same exact diaper bag has the changing pad in it and everything, a shoulder strap um, so that you can carry more essentials because the baskets aren't that big. Now, if you see under here too, they both have the same exact adjustable suspension. You have firm or soft suspension. So you have the same suspension shock absorbers on both strollers, but if you're gonna use it for sport use, you definitely wanna go with the Trider because of the wheels. Um, the wheels are gonna be bigger and they're gonna just charge through all terrain much better. I do want to mention that both strollers have that upside down U-shaped frame at the bottom. So if you have a long stride, you're not going to kick either frame. So that is the same. Both the Rider and the Trider both have removable cup holders. It's the exact same cup holder goes on the same side. Now the handlebars are both adjustable up and down, neither one telescope out. The Rider is just a little bit taller. It is 42 inches versus the 41 inches. And I just think it's the way they've angled it or something with the frame, but definitely I've measured them three times and the Rider is just a little bit taller. The parking brakes on both strollers are on the handlebars. Pretty much it's ex almost the exact same thing that you pull down to lock it. The only thing is with the Trider, there is a red safety button to unlock it that you have to push in and then lift. This one you just lift right up, so I'm not sure why one has a safety button and one doesn't, but that is the difference. 
The folds on each stroller are pretty much the exact same. You do it the exact same way. The Trider is a little bit bigger because of the wheels and you have to, because it has this piece that sticks out up here in the, on the Trider, you're gonna have to put the footrest up with the handlebar up instead of down. So this one's a tiny bit more compact, but not that big a deal. I mean, you could put that one down like that and then down like that, but like I said, just a tiny bit bigger on the Trider, but nothing that's um, gonna make too much of a difference. Plus both have standing folds and you can refold it with the seat removed or the seat attached. Both strollers come with a rain cover and you can also buy a link fix, which is the car seat adapter for either one. And, they, and the link fix accepts the Graco, the Kiko, and the Maxi Cozy infant car seat. So both become travel systems. Um, that's it. I mean, pretty much, oh, let's talk about price. Ah, because there is a price difference. Because this one, you're getting the added benefit of having um, a stroller that you can jog with. This one, again, this is a smooth surface, everyday stroller. So this one is $750, this one is $790. So you're basically $40 difference for the fact that you get the bigger wheels um, that are gonna be better on all terrain. So it's gonna come down to, are you a sporty parent or are you an extra sporty parent? Maybe jogging's totally not your thing and you don't care about that. Then I would go with the rider. But if you want a light jog or you know go on some trails, maybe the Trider is better for you. So again, definitely very similar features. You know, things are off a little bit here and there, so they're not the same. But the main difference is, is this one you can jog with and it has the bigger, better wheels. This one has great wheels too, but you can't jog with it. So there you go. That's my side-by-side -side comparison of the Jeanne Rider and the Jeanne Trider. Don't forget that we have full reviews of both strollers and exactly um, how they work and how they fold and everything like that on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. And I will talk to you next time. I'm Holly Schultz from Baby Gizmo. Bye.